We're hoping that the Changemakers program will reinvigorate the SACE and make the English curriculum more accessible for students across a range of different year levels and a range of different capabilities and have different points and access for them to really enjoy English in a real world setting. We really want for our students is for them to understand the role that they play in our society, both local and global. And we also want them to have an understanding of the power that they have as individuals and as a group. So the Changemakers program allows students to have the opportunity to express their ideas, to bring attention to their passions, what they're interested in and what changes they would like to see in the world. Probably the most exciting thing about this program would be um, being able to express all my creative freedom and having different methods of doing that, such as doing a newspaper article. We're also doing a podcast and we're also doing an actual short film. So I think that would be an amazing experience. I'm really pumped and really excited to see where this is going to go. Even through today, it sounds like it's going to be a really good opportunity and I'm really excited to be able to have that platform, to have my voice to be heard, explore different interests to see if I'm actually interested in them. We've got students from years 10, 11, 12 all working in the same space together. But it's about them being able to access the opportunities that Changemakers has as the primary focus of uh, the program. I'm working with Seton High School as an industry mentor, uh, talking about podcasting. Uh, it's all about trying to give uh, students an understanding of new media and new ways to tell stories and prepare them for the evolving world and the evolving uh, media landscape so that they can get out there and create their own content that's going to be relevant. Welcome back to Fitness Journey with Adriana Mano. It's a crime, the true crime podcast. We talk about everything unsolved and solved alike. I'm your host, Chris Nicholas, where every week I take you on a historical adventure. Today the students have been working in a, a, a created newsroom, so they've been looking at a fast-paced environment environment and creating stories and my role is to guide them through that and show them what it's like to be a journalist in this online age. This program has challenged my thinking in regards to media by allowing me to see the behind the scenes of what goes into many media sources. This program's also inspired me to get my own voice into the media and be able to voice my ideas and my opinions and the stuff I care about. I would say throughout this program I've become increasingly more aware of bias and how other people present it in their work. It's helped me understand how I can prevent me being biased, but also how I can persuade people by inserting some of my opinions in an article. In this filming segment, I'm aiming to give the Seton High School students the tools needed to creatively capture the media needed to communicate the information or the story that they're wanting to tell. We break down the use of cameras, lighting, audio recordings, and we discuss and analyze how we can use them to compose meaningful and intentional visuals and sound. I've been able to apply many skills that we learned during the um, filming course days, especially around how to frame shots and all the different aspects of really just putting together a short film as we saw in many videos in class. This benefits uh, the school and the students by showing them that the ideas that they come up with have a lot of merit in that they can actually put them into action, uh, they can put them out in the community and they can actually start to make a serious impact and, and help people. The world has just recovered from the downfall of the World War and America is steadily establishing itself to be both wealthy and stable among all of the different states. He's also struggling with like mental health, which you don't really see that this is a very confident person. The first time someone who shares my background has been treated as more than a gimmick in mainstream media. Authentic experiences in a hands-on environment are great for students because they get an opportunity to, to really reflect on their own abilities and their own choices and where they might want to be in the future. I've always wanted to be a person who uses their voice to uplift other people and like marginalized communities and stuff. And Changemakers is helping me do that by, you know, showing me how to navigate modern media and make my voice heard. I found that it's really um, changed my perspective on how English is valuable in society, especially as it's our main form of communication and it allows us to grow and learn with the people around us. Engaging with this filming segment connects students with what is happening in the media production environment internationally. It provides them with accessible ways of connecting with that world. It also helps them understand the benefits that come as a result of careful and thoughtful standard of planning. The editing segment of this course has given us a look into industry practice and techniques which help us make our short films into something that look a little bit more professional. Most importantly, it's helped us with workflow. I got to experience new things that I haven't before and it's something that will be really memorable for me in the future. Being able to experience their job, what they do daily and getting the experience of that is 
it's cool. It's fantastic to see a school that really cares about upskilling students for the evolving world. Uh, it's really important to teach students to be malleable and uh, to expect the unexpected. And I think Seton's doing an incredible job teaching students that um, they don't have to go the traditional route. If they've got an idea, they can turn it into something real and something viable and the world's their oyster.